It's 1934, mid-January. The people in India and Nepal are going about their day, when out of nowhere... An 8.1 magnitude earthquake rumbled six miles south of Mount Everest. It was one of the worst earthquakes in India's history. 12,000 people died, and cities were destroyed. More than 80,000 houses were damaged. Most of the destruction was in northern India and Nepal, but people also felt the quake from more than a thousand miles away, even though these areas were spared really any damage. In the aftermath of the earthquake, a psychologist at Putna College, hundreds of miles from the epicenter, started recording the rumors that began spreading. The interesting thing was that during this time of panic and anxiety, people were spreading rumors that seemed like they only compounded their fear. One widely believed rumor was that there would be another severe earthquake on the next lunar eclipse day. Other rumors were that the water in the Ganges River had disappeared, and that dangerous tornadoes and other calamities were on their way. What sense did it make that people would be spreading anxiety-provoking rumors at a time when there was already so much fear? Years later, this same question vexed the American psychologist Leon Festinger when he discovered a report of those old rumors. And the explanation he came up with ultimately became the theory of cognitive dissonance. 